Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do 12 videos in 12 days, sort of like a 12 days of Christmas type of thing, but I'm running out of songs that I can fashion a rudimentary version of on my Indian flute. So this is day four and today I want to talk about drum maps in Cubase. This is one feature that I hope that they improve in the next version, although I know that uh, on the horizon, I've seen some notes that maybe we're going to see an improvement to the licensing system, aka the e-licensor dongle, and of course, they'll probably add native support for M1 Max. This is all just speculation. I don't have any insider knowledge on this. However, let's talk about drum maps and how they're a little bit problematic in the current version of Cubase. We're going to jump in to a project here. Now, if you open up a project and you don't have a drum map assigned, and we can see that here on the left-hand side, and you're using Cubase's factory drum uh, program, Cube Groove Agent SE, uh, you'll have to, you know, if you click into a thing, even if it's a drum set, you'll have to program it on the uh, piano roll, unless you go to the MIDI menu and you say open drum editor. Now the drum editor will choose a map. Typically it's the GM map. I, I've loaded one earlier in this project, so it loaded that one. Um, and then it's much easier to program drums in a drum editor. Another quick tip too, if you want to start working at bar one, so you can be on the same page as everyone, but when you try to start editing drums, you don't have a lot of space to work here to put in your, you know. Uh, what you can do is go to your project menu and your project settings and you can add an offset bar. So you could add one, or if you want an eight beat count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, before you get to your first bar, you can add two. And I'll show you what that looks like. Um, then you'll have a negative one bar and a zero bar. And then if you want to edit at the, uh, you know, bar one, beat one, you'll have space to see it. Um, so that's just a bonus tip. Uh, you can do that from your project settings, add a bar before bar one if you want a little bit of working room. And then, of course, with a, with a click track, you can have a little count in of two bars or one bar or whatever you need to work with. So the good thing about Groove Agent is that you can actually assign a map uh, from the drum set. So if I go in here and I change this to, let's say, an acoustic drum set, you know, the kit SE, we'll just say no gain, no pain. And it'll load this drum set. Now, this drum set will have its own mapping and articulations. Well, I can just, with, when it's Groove Agent, because it's a Cubase library, go in and say, create drum map from instrument. And then you'll see the drum map becomes no gain, no pain. And when I click into the drum map, we have not only our grooves, so, And that's from the Groove library, but we also have all of our articulations. So that's nice to have. The problem that I'm talking about with drum maps is with third-party libraries especially, they don't come um, installed. So if I were to load a contact instance, and I have one right here, fortunately, and I've loaded up Modern Drummer. So this is Abbey Road Modern Drummer. And uh, there's a plenty of Abbey Roads that come with complete. Um, Abbey Roads 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, Modern Drummer Kit, and uh, this Studio Drummer as well. So I can actually uh, get rid of this and um, add the Studio Drummer Kit, uh, the Session Kit full, whatever. And as it loads, um, I, there is no option when I go to the drum kits to create drum map from instrument. And that's kind of annoying. So what do you have to do? You either have to craft the drum set yourself, um, but, but Native Instruments doesn't give you a lot to work with. Let me show you what they give you to work with when you buy um, Studio Drummer or Abbey Road Drummer. This is what they give you to work with. Um, you take a look at this, you open up a drum map and then you map them one to one individually. And that could take a long time, right? Yes, it could. But fortunately, we have our man, burnbridge.de, and he has mapped all these for you. Um, so if you go to burnbridge.de slash WP slash drum maps for Cubase, all hyphens, or just go to burnbridge.de, you can find the drum maps and that will save you hours of time. Now, when you click in, you have to uh, download the zip files, unzip the files, and install them to any place you want on your hard drive. 
And then once they're installed to your system, you can go to drum, you can open up your drum map and go to drum map setup, functions, load, and you'll have to open wherever you installed them on your system. So here's Studio Drummer, and I installed the session kit. So now I'll use that um, as it's loaded. So I'll close it up and I'll choose that as my drum map. And that's a little clunky, but it's doable. So you go into your four bar hit and you have all of your hits here. Um, so the th another thing that I don't like about the drum maps is you can't like batch move things. So these hi-hats are nice. You know, quarter open, half open, three quarters open, loose and full. But if I wanted to batch move them up, that's not a possibility. I have to move them up one at a time. And that seems a little clunky to me. And so a lot of times you'll want to choose articulations where you'll have you know, your kick, your snare, and your hi-hats. So, well, you'll have to, you know, get your separate hi-hats and move them all up. And sometimes when you have a, a critical mass, you can resave a specialized drum kit and it's, it persists with the project, a drum map. But it seems like a very inefficient way of working in Cubase, and I hope that they fix this in the new version. But, the good news is these drum maps have been preserved for us by our good friend burnbridge.de. Um, so if you need them for now, the Abbey Road, the Studio Drummer, and the Easy Drummer, and Stephen Slate Drums 5 drum kits uh, all have drum maps and they're available on this website. So that's an invaluable resource if you don't want to take the time to use this manual that Native Instrument provides to map the drum map yourself. However, I hope that in the future, um, Native Instrument may support Cubase drum maps or Easy Drummer or Tune Track will support Cubase drum maps or Cubase will make the drum map creation process a little bit easier. So this has just been a quick video to talk about drum maps in Cubase, show you where you can get some drum maps for third-party libraries at burnbridge.ee. Shout out to him. Thank you for creating those. And uh, it will save you some time over making them yourself. And just a, a feature request to Steinberg for Cubase 12, maybe fix the drum map creation process and make it a little more streamlined and modern. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.